Opposing the Gaza genocide while supporting Biden is a dishonest, nonsensical position. Nobody who claims to oppose the Gaza genocide while simultaneously supporting Joe Biden actually opposes the Gaza genocide. They're just saying what needs to be said to win approval in the political sector they want the approval of. They're not taking a moral stand. They're cultivating an image. They're building a brand. One of many possible examples of this ridiculous posturing is Instagram progressive Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who has called Israel's atrocities in Gaza an unfolding genocide, while continuing to support and defend the U.S. president who is currently backing that genocide, and who recently attended one of the pro-Palestine campus demonstrations which her president recently smeared as anti-Semitic protests. What AOC is doing here is attempting to straddle the impossible divide between what progressive Democrats claim their party is about and what it's actually about in real life. She's paying lip service to opposing injustice, supporting a ceasefire, and siding with anti-genocide activists because that's the sort of thing progressives are supposed to do, while simultaneously throwing her political support behind an administration that is facilitating injustice, keeping the genocide going, and smearing those who protest against it. You really couldn't put together a more incoherent position if you tried. You can't acknowledge that Israel is committing genocide without also acknowledging that the Biden administration has been actively participating in that genocide. If you acknowledge that Biden is guilty of genocide, then you are acknowledging that he is guilty of the most horrific crime a state leader can possibly commit short of initiating a nuclear exchange. Once you've acknowledged that Biden is guilty of doing pretty much the worst thing any state leader could possibly do, you've crossed a threshold. After such an acknowledgement, it is not logically or ethically coherent to follow it by saying you support him anyway because at least he's a bit nicer to LGBT people than Donald Trump would be, or because he might try a tiny bit harder to reduce global warming. You've acknowledged that he is participating in genocide. Genocide! There's no but that could possibly follow that. It's like saying, sure, my husband's a serial killer, but he's great with the kids. If someone said that to you, the only conclusion you could possibly come to is that they're not all that bothered by the serial killing. Those who support Israel's actions in Gaza are the worst people on earth, but at least their position has some kind of integrity. They are not contradicting themselves by pretending to oppose what they're actually fine with. They are not tearing themselves in half trying to straddle two completely incompatible positions while smiling for the camera and pretending it doesn't hurt. They are not posturing as compassionate anti-imperialists while serving the evil empire. Those who are supporting Biden while opposing the destruction of Gaza do not have any kind of integrity. They're just wearing whatever mask is politically convenient based on the way the winds are blowing on a given moment, while continuing to support the U.S. centralized empire which cannot be sustained without nonstop tyranny and bloodshed. They are providing social media-friendly sound bites which pay lip service to peace, while their true loyalty lies with the globe-spanning power structure whose existence makes peace impossible.